Good morning, everyone. This is Chef Bala here and uh, Chef Mahesh here. We are from the Faculty of Hotel Management and Culinary Arts, Dr. MGR Educational Research Institute, deemed to be University, Mother Oil, Chennai. Uh, today, we are planning to do a couple of uh, uh, products. One is uh, banana walnut cake and uh, another one is uh, cherry club footies. Uh, good morning, Chef Mahesh. I think, good morning, uh, Chef Bala. I think uh, banana walnut cake, I think Chef Mahesh will start doing it and uh, when it comes to cherry club footies, I'll start doing it. So I think we'll start with banana walnut cake. Uh, please proceed, it's your floor, uh, Chef Mahesh. Okay, uh, so, yeah, very good morning, Chef Bala. Morning. Okay, so initially I take my, you know, the recipe book, and I just, I, since we have a lot of uh, raw materials, so I just mm -hmm. want to make it very clear, you know, that. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, whenever we talk about the banana uh, bread, uh, this is basically the core uh, ingredients will be like the ripe banana and basically we have all the ingredients which we add all of for all the cakes you know, and this can be called as a banana bread also. When we talk about the steamed banana cake, it's a native of Chinese, Indonesia and Viet Vietnamese. Uh, but uh, see, uh, this can be made into uh, maybe like a cupcakes, maybe some banana muffin, uh, it's something like that. Okay, today we are going to make a banana walnut cake. Okay, so here we have all the raw material which is uh, meant for making the banana walnut cake. Uh, okay, now the uh, recipe says like 250 gram of yellow banana which is ripe. Okay, along with that uh, we have 250 grams of uh, sugar granules. Uh, then we have like two numbers of egg. We have the vanilla extract 10 ml. Then we have uh, milk 150 ml. Uh, lemon juice like 10 ml and we have uh, a pinch of salt oil yeah we have pinch of salt then along with like 210 gram of uh, refined flour we add like uh, 7 gram of sodium bicarbonate which is called as baking soda and we add like uh, 60 gram of uh, walnut kernels which is shaved or maybe which is crushed uh, to use uh, finally we have like uh, the refined oil like 150 ml okay Initially, we, if we have a, maybe like a blender, uh, you can use a blender. Now here we have a planetary mixer and with the help of a whisk, uh, we will be making the banana cake. Okay, so initially what we do is like we add the banana 250 grams. Along with that, we add like 250 grams of uh, sugar granules. So, uh, so, so what we do is, yeah, uh, we blend this together with the help of a maybe like a, a balloon disc uh, once in the once the banana and the sugar are blend nicely we add the egg one by one uh, uh, we add the egg one by one uh, if you have the vanilla extract you can straight away add along with the egg you if you like you should add it okay once this is uh, merged or once it is gelled uh, nicely along with the uh, uh, sugar and the banana, then we'll be adding the egg gradually one by one. And we bake the banana bread, uh, banana cake at like 140 degrees Celsius in a very low temperature for almost like 40 minutes. Okay, now I can see the banana which is uh, mixed along with the uh, sugar. Uh, so what I do is I add the egg one by one. Okay, and again in the meantime, I add the vanilla extract. So basically, we can also use a mixer blender to initially puree the banana. If at all uh, we are working on some uh, tabletop or hand blender module, yeah, this is a planetary mixer since it's uh, having a better RPM and strength. We yeah. are just putting in the banana straight away. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, one of the good uh, thing. Yeah, chef has already told you. Yeah, if we don't have this uh, planetary mixer with balloon whisk. You can always use a blender or a mixie just to uh, mash up the bananas and you can add it along with it. Okay, now I'm adding the second egg. Once this egg is very fluffy, okay, when the volume increases, uh, then I add uh, like a, a pinch of salt along with it. Okay, uh, and here what I do is I mix the refined flour, uh, sodium bicarbonate or the baking soda uh, and the crushed walnuts. 
So basically we are adding the walnut to the flour so that it doesn't sink at the bottom of the cake. So that the flour is uh, crusted around the walnut chunks and uh, you know it holds while it's being baked. Okay. Now once it is fluffy what we do is uh, uh, just to I'll reduce the speed and I add the uh, milk. Okay, I just reduce the speed and I am adding the uh, milk of 150 ml. Uh, once it is incorporated along with the uh, banana and the sugar and the egg batter, uh, what I do is I add the uh, lemon juice. Okay. Sir, is, I think uh, we have to also explain one more process uh, that will happen indirectly into this uh, mixer where we just call it this uh, Maillard's browning reaction that will start taking place from the moment the product goes into the oven. Uh, there is also some alkali in the form of uh, lime juice and there is uh, soda bicarbonate. So basically the oxidation of this banana will start taking place. So though we are uh, not adding brown sugar the product will come out brown and it will start maturing by day probably on the second day or the third day the cake will be even more darker Darker. you can see the strands of the banana into the in the banana cake or the banana bread you know that. yes the strands will become the most darkest okay. part of the cake okay now here we had ordered, added almost all the ingredients now we have the dry ingredients finally we will be uh, folding uh, with the refined oil you know that. Okay, so but I just want to check whether uh, you know that the banana which is blended together nicely. So I just scrape the sides. Whenever uh, you use the planter mixer, make sure you scrape the sides. You know that yeah. since we don't want to find any lumps into the maybe. And batter. the banana fiber will also get caught in the balloon whisk. So we need to push it into the batter so that that strands of banana fiber gets well blended into the batter. Okay, now what I do is I slowly uh, add the flour which is folded along with the uh, walnuts. Okay. So, as we always uh, tell you, you know, that whenever we add the uh, dry ingredients like the refined flour, we don't over mix since uh, there will be a formation of gluten into the batter. So, our cake won't be like a cake, it will be like a bread you know, that because of the gluten formation. So now what I do is I just uh, I just thoroughly uh, fold the flour along with the batter, um, and again what I do is I scrape the sides because uh, since we add the dry ingredients along with the batter, you may find some lumps into that. So just to avoid the lumps, what I do is I scrape the sides. I think the because of the banana is will have a kind of a jelly texture. So the aeration wouldn't be a problem, it will get immediately aerated once it is uh, uh, blended with uh, sugar and egg, I believe so. Yes, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes sir. Uh, Unlike uh, sponge batter or another uh, muffin batter and things like that, aeration is not a problem. Another situation is like we are straight away adding some acid in the form of lime juice and some carbonate in the form of cooking soda that will directly aerate the batter once we blend everything together. Okay, finally what we do is uh, we add the uh, refined oil, you know that, yeah. along with it. Just, I just want to fold the oil along with the batter and I just remove the, uh, now the, then the batter is ready, you know that, just the batter is ready for use. Okay, so I just want to, I make sure everything is combined together along with the uh, oil. Okay, once it is ready, okay, that's it. So, now you can see. banana cake batter you know, which is uh, ready and the flavoring is uh, I think totally it's our call we can also add a little bit of spice powder cinnamon powder or cardamom powder I think it's totally uh, our call we, if you if we wish to add something I think I hope we can add uh, yeah it. definitely that, yeah that's an uh, optional ship yeah it's all up to the requirement you know, as we talk about the menu or the recipe what we had uh, have in our menu so mm -hmm. as per that we can add the cinnamon powder, dry ginger powder, whatever it may be. Uh, now this is the consistency of the uh, banana cake batter. And uh, see it just being a smaller individual portion mold so I just thought of piping it the batter into the, uh, you know, the, into the mold so I am using a piping bag uh, which is reusable. Uh, so can I get the ladle please? Yeah. Okay, uh, here we have a couple of molds. 
Yeah, here we have a couple of molds. Uh, this is like a uh, big by itself mold is a paper cup which is uh, ready to eat by uh, big. And this is again a uh, aluminium mold which is greased. Uh, just to, I don't want the batter to be stuck over there. Uh, should we, don't make any yep. holding. Okay, if it's a bigger tray or a mold straight away, you can pour the batter into the tray. Yep. But being a smaller portion, uh, we thought of just piping it into the uh, mold. Uh, so as I told you earlier, this um, cooking time will be, it's, it, it will be a very slow temperature of like 140 degree Celsius and the time duration it takes a bit more another it will take almost like you know, 40, 40, 40 minutes if I'm not wrong. Yeah, because of the moisture in the banana that has to evaporate at the same time. Uh, this is unlike other cakes uh, because of the banana the moisture content of the cake is pretty high and we also added uh, milk. So basically it will take some uh, time to you know cook slowly. It's better that we cook it slowly. So what we do is uh, we pipe the batter and make sure uh, before your, your batter is ready your oven is um, preheated at your uh, precise temperature. So again it's set. And we can also add if we are interested, we can add some raisins uh, into the batter if we want to make it like, you know, uh, something uh, quite, uh, you know, Healthy, nutty, yeah, fruity, nutty, yeah, that's right. kind of a. Okay, now what I do is, now the batter is ready. So, I straight away, I put at like 140 degrees Celsius. Uh, for almost like uh, 40 minutes. Okay, this will straight away go into the oven. So basically, this is a very, very uh, slow and uh, prolonged uh, uh, baking cake. Uh, it's better that way so that it is baked thoroughly and uh, at low temperature. It's definitely unlike uh, any other pound cake or regular cakes. Yeah, definitely. Which yeah. is having equal proportion of uh, Flour, fat, sugar yes, and, and things like that. And but, uh, but generally we bake that at maybe like 180, 190 degrees Celsius. Yes, like yes. This is slow baking slow at baking. a very cool oven like 140, yeah. 150 degrees. Yeah, as chef said, you know that yeah, the banana cake, whenever we make the banana bread, banana cake, it should be kept like one day in uh, prayer so that mm -hmm. you can see the next day you can see the banana strands mm -hmm. really into the cake mm -hmm. you can see like a black strands which is into the cake so maybe being a fresh cake we don't we won't be able to look into that but since because of the sugar caramelization you'll be uh, if you keep it for the next day you definitely will be seeing that and and myself uh, also personally feel whenever i make this banana cake i think the height of the cake has to be lower for better and convenient baking unlike other cakes yeah, you uh, don't, the, be there. You don't be much higher than yes, maybe like, well, yes. not more than one, one, one and a half inches. Yes, uh, otherwise the, the, the center uh, heat Cracks. formation will be very high and it may not even cook in the center if yeah. you are going to pour a lot of batter into the mold. Uh, if you are going to use a terrain mold, it's better that we keep it uh, a bit lower, lower than other cakes. Otherwise, it's always wiser that if we use something flatter and Flat. something like uh, what we have used, okay. it's more easier and convenient. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, Great. chef. Okay, yeah. Hope I think you should have uh, enjoyed making the banana cake. Now we have Chef Bala Murgan who will be uh, making the cherry clafoutis. Yeah. Uh, so today we will have uh, cherry clafoutis uh, done here. Uh, this is basically a baked version of a pancake. Uh, I should say. Uh, say uh, and we have got uh, multiple variations of uh, clafoutis. A cherry is a common uh, fruit used in a clafouti. We can also replace it with uh, multiple other uh, uh, berries and uh, fruits. That's totally your call. And the recipe also calls for different ingredients. Mostly it's uh, milk-based batter that is baked. Uh, we can also add a cream or butter or we can add a little bit of flour or flour can be replaced with other things. So I will just uh, give you my version of uh, uh, clafoutis basically. Um, so basically my recipe calls for these ingredients um, so basically I'm going to use 200 ml of uh, double cream 200 ml of uh, full cream milk 4 eggs 100 grams of sugar and some 20 to 
you know, 15, 20 cherries and I'm using breadcrumbs to give the body for the uh, clafootis. We can also use the blueberry version. So I'm having some blueberry clafootis uh, for some variation and you, I'm using a pinch of salt and some vanilla extract and I'm using 50 grams of butter. And by the time we are finishing the clafootis, it's nice we serve with, you know, uh, some uh, crust of uh, uh, castor sugar. So I've kept uh, some castor sugar uh, for the final finishing touch. So the recipe is going to be very simple and we will be using a small uh, whisk and we, we will flambe it in the end. Um, so, so we can either, mostly the better dish is a flat ware something like this. Uh, Clubfoot is always goes in a pie dish something like this. Uh, ramekins I'm using for individual uh, buffet style serving and for uh, takeaways we can use some alufo molds something like that. So basically uh, the recipe is very simple we don't need a uh, machinery so let's start with some eggs first. So basically we you mix the eggs a little bit it doesn't have to be pretty uh, aeration or anything like that. So we start with sugar, we'll add the sugar, 100 grams of sugar, yeah, we mix a little bit gently, I don't have to aerate a lot. So then we start with the double cream, cream is not available, we can still use simply full cream milk and no cream at all, it's okay. So basically the sugar has to be uh, dissolving by this time. So I'm using milk again. It is more of a custard I should say. So I'm adding the vanilla extract. Vanilla extract. I'm just adding a very, very minute pinch of salt just to tickle the uh, flavor. Butter I will add at the last. So I'll go with the uh, breadcrumbs. So by the time the breadcrumbs goes into it, it start getting soaked. There is no aeration in this batter because it's a kind of a pancake batter without any aeration. It's better that way. So we'll add finally the butter. If the butter uh, is in room temperature, uh, it's more easier to mix it to the uh, batter. If it is a little bit uh, chunky here and there, it's totally fine because anyway, all we need is to have the uh, uh, batter uh, with fat and uh, when it's being baked, it, it adds some kind of a, uh, uh, spots in between the batter. So the batter is ready, this is basically the Clafootis batter. So all we need is, oh sorry, thank you, thank you Chef Mahesh. So all we need is uh, to pour into the pie dish and we add fruits on top, it's totally our call. We are having a couple of options here today. So you can see a little bit of butter floating on top, that will add some nice uh, uh, top crust uh, for the whole uh, So I'm just trying to be a little careful not to pour it in the corner so that the, it might get burned. We might have some dark uh, colors, corner, colors of the on the mold uh, if you are just uh, dropping some batter in the brim of the molds. Can you request some more foil cups? No, no, no. I think this is fine. 
Yeah, basically, as Chef Bala Murugan said, it is it's a, basically it's a pancake batter. Generally, in pancake, we add, uh, people may add like a corn flour or maybe a refined flour. Yeah, we can also add a refined flour. Also, there are recipes yeah. with refined flour. Yeah. It will be a little bloating and uh, not so palatable. So, so I have replaced with uh, crumbs. And we can also add uh, cake crumbs or uh, it's totally your call, yeah. So now the batter is added. So basically, uh, for the options, uh, let's start with some cherries here and there. So we always, uh, we preheat the oven for about one, at 140 degree because this is also very slow baking. We can also add uh, a water bath at the bottom or we can do a straight baking. Um, this is a kind of a pudding texture. So I think we'll put a few over here. Also. Please don't miss the entire <laughs> We have blueberries, so I was a little generous on the cherries. So let's have a spoon, please. Yeah, thank you. So I've got some um, uh, blueberry compote. So I'm adding a little bit of a blueberry compote as well. Uh, and the, it's all up to your car, you know, that if you want to add some uh, strawberry compote, blueberry, whatever, it's, you know, it's up to the availability, you know, that. But the nativity always calls for a cherry, so cherry, it's, cherry but the as trend uh, turns, uh, it's not a uh, strict uh, policy to have cherry all the time. Dark cherries is also equally appreciable. Here we have uh, the red cherries. Okay, as Chef Balamurgan say, uh, see our oven is already preheated at 140 degrees Celsius uh, for uh, 25 minutes. Uh, so now we straight away we bake it. As Chef said, you know that it can be also double boiled. You know that we can, it's like a pudding or it can be steam bath or you can straight away you can bake this in the tray. But again, it's like a very slow cooking. You know that we bake at 140 degrees Celsius. You know, doing like a double, if it's like a double boiling, you can go up to like 150, 160. But if we are going straight, yeah, we bake it like 140 degrees Celsius for uh, 25 minutes. Yep. And basically, the texture will be similar to a uh, custard base with a cake crumbs. You know that you can feel that not only the custard, like whatever we call as a vatalapam or maybe a creme caramel or maybe like brulee texture. But this will be like a cake. You know that you since we add like bread crumbs or that can be replaced with like sponge crumbs, you get a very um, cakey texture over there. Yep, yep. That, that's for the palate. Uh, my version, I've just added uh, uh, the bread crumbs. Uh, it's totally your call. If it is not available, you can just uh, crumb in pieces of uh, uh, cake or just add some mildly roasted flour for better flavors and options. So basically, by the time uh, our clafutis is getting baked, we can also see our banana cake uh, getting ready. Uh, I think we have got some uh, 30 minutes, around 30 minutes left for our uh, mm, banana cake and uh, our clafutis have got some uh, 25 minutes. So, meantime, uh, we'll have some uh, quality discussions, uh, uh, Chef Mahesh. I think uh, uh, when it comes to you know uh, uh, bakery uh, production and uh, desserts and uh, different varieties of pastries making, uh, people sh should consider the audience. Uh, we can use some products for a nice hotel buffet and things like that, but those things may not suit for the uh, local market or sometimes. Yes. It also depends from country to country, state, state to, to state, state and uh, city, city to, to city. 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 Yeah, uh, that, that thing I think people should keep in mind. Uh, we cannot try to, even the pastry chefs uh, uh, should keep that in mind that they should, cannot afford to implement or push some product uh, in the three, three, whatever the product they are making in the metros they cannot push that in the three type cities or two type yes. cities but it might take it might take some quality time it might take some uh, quality time for people to understand and uh, penetrate into the market uh, tier one cities yes many places people are willing to try different products and uh, things like that in some places the population who are willing to try may be less in other cities. I'm not saying no, every city has uh, all different types of audience, but the percentage of audience will vary from uh, city to city. So certain products, banana cake is a universal product. In this case, say for example, 
we can use it uh, uh, from for desserts for pastry shops from tier 1 to tier 3 or anywhere it is universally available product whereas the clefoties uh, looks like a kind of a, a product that suits only certain audience that is how it is but people also are learning and taking time from uh, you know uh, time to time they are learning and they are trying to uh, give, uh, look for more options of desserts and pastries when it comes to a pastry shop or a restaurants and restaurant owners are trying to implement interesting desserts uh, whereas in pastry shop the product goes as such sometimes when it comes to desserts in restaurants people try to pile up or make a nice uh, presentation with other sauces and other amenities in the plates along with some you know other ice creams or whatever garnishes they wish to go about they can play around a lot and uh, in this case clefoutis Yes, it, it is a kind of that product uh, more suitable for a, or a restaurant and uh, it goes along with the mold and it's, it's a nice product for the buffet. Whereas the banana cake is, as we spoke, it is universally acceptable for any type of audience uh, we can choose to. And it's also a wonderful product which yes. I think we have been baking for the past uh, 20 years. 20 years per uh, chef. Yeah. This is in our yeah, experience. Yeah, in, this is just in probably it has got a age old uh, uh, history for banana cakes. Uh, banana has uh, has been a tropical fruit which has traveled here and there on the northern hemisphere and the southern hemisphere uh, to add values to the bakers yeah. and bakery products. Yeah, but Chef, as you told, you know that whenever we talk about the banana bread, it's again it all depends upon the banana, the very t the type of banana. If it, mm -hmm. whenever we talk about the yellow banana, the with very ripe one, mm -hmm. you get a very good stance into that. But when you are talking about the more is the green banana, I don't think we find a lot of uh, black strands into that banana. Yes. So yes. It's, again, it depends upon the you know, raw material, whatever you are using. Rather, you know, yes. certain places you don't get the yellow banana. Mm -hmm. Whereas you can go with the green banana, which is readily available in the market. Mm -hmm. But you cannot expect the same output which you are getting from the yellow ripe banana. Yes. And yellow, whenever we talk of ripe, that is purely ripe, not yellow banana. You know, I I feel uh, I want the skin to be black in color. Mm -hmm. So when it's over ripe, you can see the black strands over that. So basically, uh, chef is telling like. For the Maillard's browning reaction, uh, oh, basically uh, the sugar, the lime in the uh, banana cake, and the baking, baking soda, soda, all these things oxidizes the banana. That is where the darkening of the cake happens over a period of time in a day or two. The cakes get darker and even more flavorfully matures yes. over a period of time. The cake is better on the second or the third day to be very honest. Uh, more than the first day. That is how uh, the Maillard's, uh, Maillard's browning reaction uh, plays, plays a very, very vital role. I think, uh, Chef, I think we should recap the banana uh, walnut cake recipe and the um, uh, cherry club food yeah. recipe. Yes, yeah, Chef. Uh, see, for banana cake, uh, see, now I have done a smaller portion. Generally, we talk about one kg, you know, like one kg of banana, we take one kg of sugar granules. Straight away, one kg of one kg. For that, we add like eight numbers of egg, the whole egg. Okay. Uh, what we do is we blend the banana and the sugar together. Then we add the egg one by one. Along with that, we will add like 20 ml of vanilla extract. It is not compulsory since if your banana is very ripe, you get the flavor from the banana. That will dominate the entire flavor of the egg. Okay. So it is not necessary that you have to go with um, vanilla extract. If you don't have, it's, it's well and good. Okay, then what we do is like we add like 25 ml of uh, a lemon juice, uh, mm -hmm. uh, 25 ml of lemon juice and along with that we add like uh, 300 ml of milk. milk. Once, the, once it's all combined, what we do is uh, we add like 850 gram of refined flour with like 30 gram of sodium bicarbonate that is baking soda and like 200 gram of crushed walnut which is mixed uh, separately and uh, which is kept separately. Uh, once this is ready, what we do is we add the dry ingredients together. Finally, we fold like 300 ml of refined oil along with that. Once we add the dry ingredients, we are not going to over whip it. As I told you earlier, also, mm -hmm. Chef, because mm -hmm. since mm -hmm. you know that is a gluten content in the flour, so I don't want it's a, whenever we talk about cake, it should, it should be a cake. Yep. So finally, we what we do is we fold with the refined oil mm -hmm. and we bake at very slow temperature. As you said, the well lots uh, reaction, you know that. Uh, for uh, sugar caramelization along with the banana and the banana reaction with the baking, baking soda. 
So what we do is we cook at like very slow temperature of 140 degrees Celsius and the duration will be longer, you know, like 40, 45 minutes. Okay, being a smaller portion, I have just sent, uh, set it for 40 minutes. But generally when we go for a mold, like 500 gram mold, gen sim not less than one hour it will take for cooking chef. Yep. That yep. is a, thing, a simple thing. And this should be served like, you uh, know, oh the other day, if, if you make the banana bread or the banana cake today, that should be served the next day. So the texture of the banana and the strands of the banana uh, pulp, you know, the black strand that can be seen visibly. Fantastic, yeah. Fantastic. That's that's a great, uh, this, that's a wonderful recipe. Uh, let me go along with the uh, recipe for the club footies. Uh, basically, the recipe, uh, what I have used uh, today's uh, session is like, I've used um, 200 ml of uh, double cream, 200 ml of milk, and that goes with four eggs and 100 grams of sugar, 100 grams of breadcrumbs, a pinch of uh, salt and uh, 5 ml of uh, vanilla extract. Uh, so basically we add butter finally, uh, 50 gram of uh, butter to this. So this is the batter basically. So this batter we are just pouring into the molds and the pie dish that uh, we have planned and uh, basically uh, we can use cherries or some other berries uh, for the same uh, recipe. Uh, cherry clafutis is the common and uh, the most uh, uh, far uh, uh, real time uh, recipe. Um, so cherries are usually added along with the stone inside, I mean with the, the seeds. seed inside. Yeah, with the seeds. So it, it is uh, better that uh, we keep the seed inside because it is being cooked and it holds its position, shape, shape and uh, while serving it's better, uh, that is how it is. So basically we are just baking it in a very very low temperature, we can either uh, do it in a, a bath of water or straight away we can bake it uh, at uh, 140, 140 degree and it might take up to 30 minutes uh, for finishing uh, the clafutis. Uh, that's a kind of a pancake batter uh, that uh, we have used. Uh, that is what it is. Uh, Club footies is a, a French product, and uh, yes, so that's that. So it is being baked. Uh, and so chef, uh, you can uh, see the banana walnut cake, uh, which is getting. Oh uh, no, it's not uh, rice much. You know that seeing we are, since we are using flat molds and the mm -hmm. flat paper cups, mm -hmm. you can see the size of the banana cake over here. Mm -hmm. And again, we have almost like 20 more minutes left over for this. Okay, uh, Chef, actually what we did is, you know, because being, you know, it's uh, taking a long time to cook. Mm -hmm. So what I, we did in the morning is like mm -hmm. we made a batch of banana cake, which is yes. uh, done just to like, you know, reduce the temperature just to mm -hmm. show mm -hmm. you the product. Mm -hmm. uh, and this is, yeah, uh, this here, what happened is we had added more batter into this. Mm -hmm. So, but uh, it looks like that. Uh, so and I think I think we can also have the option of reducing the batter, and with no uh, uh, heap in the center, or we can uh, bake it in the slow mode. It's totally our call. It's totally our uh, choice. I think the cake has come out uh, really good and well cooked, and it is already started to brown. If you could see, there is no. Uh, it, it is not the crust uh, that we are speaking. I think we should show the uh, inner part of the cake. Even that will by this time would be. Uh, brown in color, I believe so. Because the oxidation, br Maillard's browning reaction must yeah. be happening already. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yeah, exactly. You see, you can see, you can see the uh, black strands of banana, uh, which is uh, fantastic. That's that's the Maillard's browning reaction, reaction we talk about it's here. All because of the citric, what we had added. You know, that lemon juice as well as the baking soda along with the ripe the banana. Mm -hmm. uh, so this is the thing and. We had added uh, some nuts, you know, as Chef said, yeah, you can also always go with like some raisins along with it. Uh, it's all, see, whenever we talk about the banana walnut cake, we add like banana walnut. So yeah. when we talk about banana walnut and raisin, we go with walnut and raisin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, the, and you can see the moisture content. So you you can see the strands already getting darker and darker by the time. Uh, I think the cake will get well matured uh, by tomorrow and day after tomorrow. And it will be a perfect uh, banana walnut cake. Uh, that's uh, edible, fantastic. So I think we can yeah, also we can try. try. We can. Yeah, we should right. try this uh, product. So that's that's a lot of flavor. flavor that's a lot of flavor. Uh, the maturity is very good. 
the flavor of uh, banana along with uh, vanilla is simply fantastic and the walnut oh wow that's good it's very moist one of the chef mm -hmm. and uh, see you can you cannot see the crust on top because since because of the sugar caramelization mm -hmm. you can see the crust always mm -hmm. soft mm -hmm. Wow, that's good actually. I really enjoyed uh, this uh, uh, piece of uh, banana cake. That's fantastic. That's very moist and sticky. Uh, optimum in sugar level. If required, the, in the recipe, the sugar can also be raised a little bit, I believe yeah, so. Uh, chef, uh, yeah, it's all because, see, whenever we talk about the like banana, you know that if it's ripe, well yeah. ripe, yeah. the banana will be more sweeter. Fantastic, yeah. It depends on the banana. Banana. It depends upon the banana. Yeah. If if you feel the banana is not that ripe, I think we need to balance the sugar. Uh, the recipe with yeah. the sugar. More sugar. Yeah. Yep. Fantastic. Great. This is a this is a great product. Um, okay. Similarly, I think we should also show the uh, club footies that uh, uh, we made uh, uh, earlier. So basically. Um, you can see the uh, pie dish ones, the alufo ones and uh, the one in the ramekins. So basically it's better that uh, clafutis goes really very well with uh, nice uh, uh, dusting of uh, dredging of uh, caster sugar on top of this uh, cherry clafutis. Yeah. Yep. And that should be caramelized? Uh, it's totally our call. We can also f uh, do a mild uh, um, uh, flambeing on top or uh, basically we can also just uh, caramelize the sugar on top but because of the fat content uh, in the recipe there might be a little bit of a flame that might uh, pop out of the uh, club footies uh, we need to be a bit careful while doing uh, uh, basically using a torch on the uh, club footies basically these are all the uh, blueberry ones Normally, clafutis are served as such in their own mold or the pie dish, uh, you know, for the be better presentation. Uh, it's not usually uh, demolded. It's it's spoonable as yeah. such. Yeah, as you said, it should be in a very flat dish. Yep, 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 yep. So basically, if required, uh, we can uh, do a mild flambeing. Be a little careful. There will be sound because of the mic being close to me. This is just an option, uh, it's not really necessary. Okay, this uh, clafotis, uh, as Chef said, uh, this can be done in two ways. Uh, if you want, to, this can be done with the help of like double boiling or in the water bath. Uh, but in, uh, the temperature will be like 150, 160 degrees Celsius. But where here, uh, without the help of a water bath, we straight away we bake this at 100 and low temperature of like 140 degrees Celsius. 
Uh, we can also lower the temperature if we feel like and we can prolong the baking. Uh, the only difference that we will get is that the, if you can see the difference between this product and this product basically. So, in this the level is flat and uh, seamless whereas there are quite some ridges in this uh, ramkins because these are baked in different temperature. These are baked somewhere about 130 to 140 degree for a prolonged time whereas this is baked around 140 to 150 degree so that there is a kind of a, uh, a difference in the ridges on top of the uh, club footies basically. Now the sugar is caramelized enough and gives a kind of a nice uh, uh, crusty Greasy, look, crusty, yeah, yes, that, that's just a kind of a presentation that I suggest, but it's totally your call, you can even finish it with uh, dredging some icing sugar on top of it or simply have it neat as such. Yeah, okay, I think uh, we can or we should try uh, uh, clafutis. Uh, uh, yeah, let's, yeah, let's, let's right. scoop into, the ramekin is still hot because uh, we have done some flambeing. I think we should be very careful with the uh, oh, caramel. caramel. Yeah, that's yeah. Fine. So le let's break into it. Yeah, you can and see the, uh, yeah, crust on top. You know that because yeah, of yeah, the caramel. Because of the caramel. Yeah. yeah. Let Let's scoop into a chunky of uh, uh, blueberry and caramel, and let's break it a little bit. Be a little careful if you are going to consume as such. <laughs> But generally, as chef said, this will this will be always served by itself. You know that you cannot demold that. That should be served wherever the in the pie dish, wherever you bake it. You know that. Mm -hmm. uh, if you have, if for, uh, as uh, if it's like a takeaway, then you can go with the aloof foil. And for in the uh, like display, you can just keep it for a a la carte restaurant. You can go with the ramekin, and for a buffet, you can go with a flat pie dish, uh, which is served by itself. You know that. Fantastic. That that caramel on top is crunchy and uh, the pancake batter in the bottom is very soft with Moist. blueberries it's fantastic i think uh, we are basically we, we cannot call this as a custard base you know that it's like custard base with a lot of you know you had we had uh, added some uh, bread crumbs along with it and it's like a spongy texture and mm -hmm. it's more moist under that and after uh, caramelizing with the sugar you can see the crust on top of the uh, club foodies fantastic but I can feel the sugar content is very mild, you know, that it's mm -hmm. not over sweet mm -hmm. and, and it's not very rich, you know, that uh, mm -hmm. like, you know, uh, generally when we talk about like uh, creme brulee or maybe a panna cotta, it's all a very rich dessert, you know, that because of a more lot of sugar, which, uh, cream as well as the sugar, it is very rich. You know, that this, this is quite delicate, delicate. Yeah, very, right. very mild. Um, I really like it this way. This is just my version. You can have your options. Yeah. And the blueberry also goes very well uh, yeah. with the product. That's fantastic. Uh, that's a great product. And our uh, club footies have got some time to bake and banana cake have uh, got some time uh, to bake. And I think uh, uh, we have already uh, presented the dish and we should recap the recipe once again. And uh, we should uh, conclude uh, this uh, session. So I'll start with my club footies. Basically, I've said it's uh, 200 ml of uh, double cream, 200 ml of milk, 4 eggs, 100 grams of sugar, 100 grams of breadcrumbs, 50 grams of uh, butter and 5 ml of vanilla extract, five, uh, a pinch of uh, uh, salt and some 20 cherries or some blueberries as and how you feel like and some caster sugar on top for dusting and uh, uh, just uh, giving it a caramelized effect or as such you can dust it with uh, icing sugar. and. Uh, that's the recipe and uh, we bake it at uh, 140 degree uh, or below for a prolonged uh, uh, time of about 30 minutes. Um, that is how uh, clafutis are done. You can either put some water to the tray and uh, do it as a kind of a water bath, but it will take some more time and it will be a very, very flat product. Uh, this is a kind of a uh, direct baking method. So it will have a kind of a ridges here and there. That's one way of doing it. So, Chef, uh, can you please explain about the banana cake recipe? Yeah, uh, see, uh, uh, whenever we talk about the banana cake, uh, we, I always talk about the ripe yellow banana. Mm -hmm. My, uh, I want the skin to be black. Mm -hmm. So, whenever you peel the banana, you can see already the black strands of the banana. You know, that. mm -hmm. That's what I like. You know, that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like one kg of uh, uh, peel, along with that, we add like one kg of sugar granules. 
we mix it thoroughly uh, well where the banana is blended nicely. Along with that, we will be adding like eight numbers of egg one by one, one at a time. You know that once it is uh, mixed together, then we'll be adding the next egg. Simultaneously, after adding all the eight eggs, uh, we can uh, add the vanilla extract or that vanilla extract can be added along the egg. It's all two options. Then we add a pinch of salt. Then we add like 300 ml of milk. Milk may be like 3.5 percent fat or maybe like uh, full fat milk. It all depends. Uh, then we add like 25 ml of lemon juice all over that. Okay, once lemon juice is added, then we have like the dry ingredients like uh, 850 gram of uh, refined flour. Uh, we have like uh, 30 gram of sodium bicarbonate uh, and like 200 gram of crushed walnuts or shavings of walnut whatever we add. Then finally what we do is like we add like 300 ml of refined oil to that. Uh, whenever we uh, mix the refined flour into the batter, we don't over mix just to avoid the gluten formation. Uh, once it is mixed the nicely or gently, uh, then what we do is we fold with the oil. We, we call it the folding method. See, mold, we fold with the oil and this process um, uh, will be, this uh, cake or the bread will be baked at like very slow temperature of like 140 degrees Celsius for like 40-45 uh, minutes. Again, as I tell you always, it all depends upon the uh, size of the mold what you are making. If it's a bigger mold, it takes not less than one hour. Another is a smaller individual mold, it takes like um, 40, 45 minutes and always we uh, we prefer that to be uh, the banana cake to be one day older that the result will be far, far better for yep. consuming. Okay Wonderful. and this can be served in the kept in the room temperature uh, for almost not less than three days. The shelf will be like three days since we, do, we don't add any artificial colors or we don't add, add any preservative to these products still we have uh, three days of shelf life in room temperature. This can be clean wrapped and we, we, we can also refrigerate it. Yeah, that can be done. Yep, uh, I think even the clafoutis can be refrigerated for a prolonged uh, period of time. Okay, as Chef said, the banana cake, it's, you can see the banana cake all over the city. You know, that when, when we talk about the city or maybe when we talk about the three type cities like um, Madurai, Trichy, Uttarnal Valley, wherever you go, you find this banana cake. But still, uh, whenever we talk about the clafoutis, you know, that maybe like high end pastry shops. Maybe in the metros you can find uh, some fine dining restaurants, you can find some club foodies, but but rarely we can find in three. I, I don't say we don't find, but very rare we find in three cities. I think uh, people should uh, try this for uh, breakfast, I, oh, I should yeah, yeah. Uh, like suggest. Uh, we talk about the this, pancake this batter, which yep. is added, uh, which, where we add some uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, like uh, sponge crumbs or maybe the bread crumbs, so that can be served as a, a like uh, morning breakfast. Yes, and one more thing, I think uh, in many places I see uh, the banana cake uh, mostly very pale, uh, which uh, I feel uh, not so comfortable for me. I always feel uh, there should be a kind of a browning that should happen and this is a wonderful product. I think weekend is coming and people should try these things at home or at their bakery. And uh, I think th for the coming week, we should try some uh, French macarons. Yeah, first, uh, yeah. Why, why not, Chavia? Yeah, yeah we should try yeah, French yeah. macarons next time and we will publish the menu very soon. Yeah, I think our clafoutis are ready. Yes, perfect. Yes, perfect. It's perfect time for the clafoutis. It, it's a quick bake uh, product, so the clafoutis are ready. Uh, Chef Mahesh, please. Yeah, it's perfect, it's perfect. Uh, I think the clafoutis are perfect, yeah. very well. And it's very fresh and uh, baked in very optimum uh, temperature. The butter in the recipe is still bubbling and uh, creating the crust. And it has in fact uh, loosened uh, the sides. mold uh, sides of the uh, molds. We can in fact uh, demold it if required. I think it's fantastic. I think we should uh, do a uh, crumbing with uh, 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 castor sugar right away and let's flambe it but this time we will see flames we will see definitely some flames because the butter is still hot so definitely the butter will catch some flame so please be a little careful so, so when you are doing the uh, flambe, be very careful about the flambe, Amarashi. Yep. Uh, this is not a flambe, basically we are just brulling on top, uh, uh, the butter will catch fire. 
you can see the crust caramelization of the uh, yep. sugar as well as the butter you can see the flame popping out basically Hot yes, it's today. piping hot. We cannot uh, yeah. taste it right away. It will <laughs> just takes uh, some time. I think uh, wonderful, great. Uh, I really enjoyed uh, this session. I really love baking with uh, Chef Mahesh. It's a fantastic oh, day. Oh, <laughs> it's a great, it's a great you, product. I think we should take a leave. Uh, thanks for the day. Thanks for the audience. And uh, please keep following us. And we would like to come up with a lot more interesting menus. recipes yeah. and menus in forthcoming days and weeks. Uh, uh, keep ourselves uh, subscribed uh, for uh, uh, better product and uh, quick updates. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Have a great weekend. Thank you, Chef. Thank Manish. you, Chef Bala. Thank you so much. Thank you.